Hello and welcome to another video. I am very sleep deprived in this video, so there's a, a lot of incomprehensible rambling. Also, not all facts I say are true because I'm so sleep deprived, so I uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Enjoy! Hello everybody, I'm very sleep deprived today. I was woken up by the crows who caught slightly before sunrise. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to be showing you some soaps, melt and pour soaps I made today. So, this is one, a clear soap with a rose in it. For some reason, all the bits of the rose ah, that were touched by the soap turned like yellow brown. It was just like, ah, soap. I should be wilted. Bye. I made these black ones. This was actually the extra from this one, but it looks a lot lighter. This is a uh, one that I made by mixing together kind of a copper, kind of like a red, brown, copper color to color mica powder with a bright green powder and it kind of made like a copper color. This is just where I put all my extra stuff and then at the end I poured clear on it so you can see a bunch of random things in suspension. And this one is a watermelon one. This one's my favorite. And this one is one that I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So, normally I do like a clap thing and a transition thing. But I'm just going to go like, eh. <laughs> Okie dokie, so. I'll, I'll say all these stuff that you need. <laughs> We've got some lavender. Some dried lavender. It's in like a floral soap making bunch of flowers that I got that has different flowers and you're gonna need some lavender for the seeds. And then and this mold and a knife that I probably shouldn't be wielding because I'm quite tired. These bowls and mixing spoons. And, yeah, so I'm just going to stick these over to the side. You're going to need white mountain pour for the rind and the pith. If you don't know what pith is, it's the stuff that's like between the rind and the fruit. It's white and it's spongy. It's also on like lemons and oranges and pretty much everything. Well, no, it's not pith, I don't think. It's just the bit of... It's pith for those things, but for watermelon, it's just the bit where the fruit turns white at the end. And it kind of goes into the, the peel. But not a peel. You don't peel a watermelon, though. That would be funny. Maybe I can draw a picture of that. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm getting off topic. Anyway, anyway. So, you're going to need some white melt and pour base. Some clear melt and pour base. These are bits that I cut off from my previous things, some food coloring. You need um, red food coloring and green food coloring. Of course, the white in the pith is just white. And you could also choose pink food coloring for the watermelon if you like, but I prefer red. Mm. And um, Make your green as dark or light as you want. Make your pinks or red as dark or light as you want. And, um, of course, the white part is just plain white. So let's begin with the, oh yeah, yeah. You're also going to need a microwave and some microwave safe bowls or something so that you can melt it and mix in the color. So I'm going to start with the rind bit, and I'm going to make a, a few of these because I want to give some away as gifts. So 
So I'm gonna make lots of rind. And stick them in the bowl. If they're over the top, that's okay. They'll just melt down and go into the empty spaces. So now, here is the microwave. You just plop it in. And then you have to watch it carefully because it melts super quickly. You just sit and watch it and you wait until it's melted. If it you if it stays in there too long, then it'll start bubbling. And there we go. It started bubbling, but there's still a little bit there. So I'm gonna stick it back in. If it starts bubbling, but there's still a little bit of solid, then you can take it out, stick it back in, and there you go. But I'm not a soap expert. There's still something about that. So then I'm gonna take my green, and I want a cute little like light green this time, so I'm just gonna put a drop in. And mix it. Then you just mix it till it's smooth. Or if you want it to be swirly, then you can do that too, but it won't be very swirly because it just melts together. And then pour it into these. I've never done it this full. Hopefully it doesn't spill everywhere. I should have used something with a pour spout. Ah! Well, that's okay. I had a few of those on this one, too. Okay. So, it would be better if your microwave safe thing had a pour spout, but mine does not. So, yeah, I just accidentally poured way too much rind in there. These are going to be very thick rind watermelons. It's starting to cool down. Let me just do that. There we go. We're going to have four watermelons of varying rind thickness. Do a bit of wiping up. I know it's cooled down. It's okay, it'll wash off its soap. Okay, and now what I did for this one, if you see how it's kind of blended in some places and up or down, is that's actually, I didn't do that on purpose. I actually just got impatient, but it looks cool, so I'm gonna do it again. Oh yeah, I need another, another bowl, but not another mixy thing. The mixy things are only for mixing in stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to take some white. For this one, you don't need as much. So I'm going to do one cube. And maybe a little bit more than one cube because there's a lot of them. I'll use some of these little cubes. And melt it in the microwave. Now, cutting these things are very satisfying. They're very satisfying. They're very satisfying. It's very satisfying, but I really like what I, I want it to, I want to use up the stuff that I've already cut. Ah, stop beeping. Ah, starting to bubble. Okay. So. Now, you just pour a little bit on top, and it will go into the middle a little bit, that's fine. You just have to kind of like pour it around. Next one. Just like that. Voice.
voiceover because I have awkward silence and I don't want to edit out so it won't be awkward. And finally, we're going to do the top of the watermelon, which we shall mix some lavender into. So for this one, you're going to need a bowl. Why am I doing this? I already did this. I'm tired. A spoon. Some clear soap base this time. I might need some more, but I'll work with this for now. But I might get some more. So clear soap base. And I'm just going to cut this in half so that you can see the beauty of how nice it is soap cutting. Mmm, so good. Again, this time it's clear melting. <laughs> Voice over. Close eye on it because it melts super quick. And now. As you can probably tell, I'm experimenting with voiceovers today. On a bit of a skin, it started bubbling. It's easier with smaller amounts. Because sometimes with the bigger amounts, some part of it starts bubbling, while some part of it still has a skin on it. And this beautiful clear stuff, but it's not water, it's melted soap. And then you want to do this pretty quickly. I think this time I want to add red and pink, so it's kind of like a dark, hot pink. Quickly, quickly, quickly before it starts solidifying. And mix it together. Yeah, that looks watermelony. You want to add um, like two drops of food coloring to this one because you want it to be nice and dark. And then before I had the, I, I was like, ah, oh, it needs to be a seedless watermelon. And then I was looking around like, what could I use for seeds because I don't have like black glitter. And I was like, wait, lavender. I could use lavender for seeds. So take a bit of lavender. It doesn't have, if you don't have lavender, then you don't have to put this in. It could be a seedless watermelon. Or if you have black glitter, then that is what I would have done if I didn't have, if I did have black glitter. So you could use black glitter too, but lavender also is, you know, flowery. I need some more lavender. Ah, I need to work quickly. I like making my watermelons very seedy. I feel like the seeds are a main staple of the watermelon. Whenever people have like labels of seedless watermelons, they're never really seedless. But the seeds are the watermelon. The seeds are watermelon. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm tired. Okay. So. Hopefully all the seeds don't go to one watermelon. So, ow, ha. Now I'm gonna pour it in. Some for this one, and some for this one. Ah, I'm running out. Some for this one, and I'm gonna need more. So, now you will get to see the big block. Let me just carefully move this to the side. Get out the block. Blech. That probably wasn't perfectly together. It's hard to make it perfectly together. It's easier when it's just my hands. Anyway, so this is the big block of clear. The white block doesn't have, is like less wide and more up and down. And it doesn't have these little, little lines. But now you can see the beauty. It's getting kind of messy over here. Now you can see the beauty of it being cut. Mmm. -hmm. It's so satisfying. Let me put this back in. And cut the 
this into littler pieces. part of one of these pieces, so, yeah. And then cut this piece in half. And estimating size, cut the top off this piece. That should be perfect. I'm going to scoot all this stuff to the side. I'll clean it up after I'm finished. I don't know why I'm sticking my tongue out so much. I'm tired. I keep on saying I'm tired. I am tired. Forgive me for stuff. I am tired. Okay. Plop it into that bowl. I wonder how the lavender will do in the microwave. Hopefully it won't like turn brown and explode. <laughs> Note that up. Ah. This one, I'm just going to add red and plop. You can also add the teensiest little bit, like it looks like there, and then it looks pretty cool, like kind of a little bit faded, like together. I don't know. <laughs> so with just the red, it's a much darker thingamajigger. Add a bit more seeds. Pinch in some more seeds. And then, oh yeah, and if you add like black glitter, then it's better if it's like, well no, it's better if you use lavender because the black glitter might like clog up your drain and be bad for the ocean. So, lavender is the best. Or you could use biodegradable glitter. And then pour it in. Beautiful. Maybe I could have kept that top, but that's okay. And so now I'm going to let this sit. It takes like four to six hours to set. So I'll see you later today. Bye for now. This is me now. So, Anya, what you doing right now? What? <laughs> oh. Ugh. Smushing soap and being tired. Is it satisfying to smush soap? It's not as satisfying as slime. It gets all over your hands, but then it washes off right away. Mm-hmm. I'm going to clean up now. I bet I made you yawn then. <laughs> and anybody watching this video is probably yawning right now. I always yawn when I see anything, any animal or any person yawn. I saw my chickens yawn and then I yawned. <laughs> And then mom yawned because I yawned, and then my chicken yawned, and then I yawned, and then mom yawned. Or no, the chicken yawned, then I yawned, then mom yawned, then I yawned, then the chicken yawned. <laughs> it's even cross-species contaminant. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I am back at the hiccups. These have fully cured. Um, I got a haircut and it has actually been 
like two days instead of half a day. So these are super cured and now I have a new haircut and new clothes. Um, yeah, I have the hiccups. So I'm gonna pop these out. I don't know where the original watermelon is, unfortunately. One of them I'm gonna keep and use to wash my hands and I'll probably, one of them I'll cut up on film to look pretty and I'll also use that one and the other ones I'll give away to my friends. So, uh, we close up? Thank you. I will pop these out now. So if you loosen up the edges first, it's easier to get them out. This one first with a lot of seeds. And pop. This one has a really thick rind. And next one. I think I made these rinds too thick. Ugh. This one looks better. If I can just huh, get it out. Come out. What if I pull it from the top? Oh, yeah. This one looks better. It also has a super thick rind, though. This is my favorite so far. Here's a littler one. Oh, yeah. This has the right proportions. If you are getting um, annoyed by all the time we point out my hiccups, too bad for you. I'm going to keep on doing it <laughs> for most of them, at so least. So here are all of the watermelons and the tops of the watermelons and um, the sides of the watermelons. And, um, yeah, so I think I'm probably going to keep this cute little one and give away these two. And pretty much all the seeds went into here and it has a super thick rind. So I think I'm gonna cut that one up and we'll see how it looks. Oh my gosh, my hiccups. Okay. Yeah, 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 wielding a knife. So, I'm gonna cut it in half. Let me. Ooh. Did you hear that crunch at the start from the lavender? Look at that. And now I'm going to cut it like this in thin slices. The next slice will be thinner. I just need to cut that bit off. Do it from over here. Okay. So, I really like these really thin slices because they're pretty and they look satisfying. So, then, ooh, I can smell the lavender. And it can also be cut into sections like right there. There's the watermelon and the giant rind. And like that. I don't know what's the most satisfying way to cut it. Let's do this big one. the soap cutting. Okay, I'm not sure if you could hear it or not, because like, 
I don't know, I have like ears that's like, I can hear pigeon alarms and stuff. But there's like this really, I say like too much, there's like this really flat or bad like sound right here. And so I will narrate for you. And then now. now. Wait, wait, I need, I need to do this. this. And now I will do with these soaps what I will and make soap towers and give them away and use them as soap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And also, I can demonstrate how well this works. Let me just show me washing my hands with this. Let me just wash off the soap residue from the soap cutting. And then, there's the green part, and the red part. And you go like that. Get that foam, and then you rinse it off. And then the thought occurred to me, what if I say YouTuber things like like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video?